Nee. Nee. <laughs> that was my defense. Wendy asked me, why are we moving to Nain? I said, it's a pleasurable place. It's a lovely place. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> we had one dream, one hope, one brain child. People boasted of many, but we just had one. But my husband, one day, <laughs> it was one day, he took ill, and in less than a week, my husband died. My own husband, that came to a land that was pleasurable and beautiful, they would beg me. I was saying, it's okay. My son will come and say, Mommy, Mommy, don't cry. I wipe my tears. I will not show this dream. I will, I will commit to this dream. I will work hard. I decided I will sleep. I worked in farms. I worked on other people's farms for other people's dreams. Just so that my dream could survive. I was in the market one day. The women came. Ah, market women of men. One stood here. One stood here. This one. Three children. <laughs> if we count all the children and the dreams among these ones, a whole problem. One dream. Nay! <laughs> I had only one dream. He's dead. That's what he said. That's all he said. He died. My son. My dream. <laughs> it was already paying off. This dream was already paying off. This dream it did show signs of impending too. This was the only thing I held on to this this dream. <laughs> My, I didn't hear anything that they said after that in the death. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. If you ask me what killed me, I don't know. Death killed me. Death, death killed me. Is that? <laughs> I can't dream again. No more dream. You are shocked at me. <laughs> I am too. I will not believe it. If it did not happen in front of me. If it not happened through me, I would not have believed it that me, that widow of name, that widow could be alive again. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. They were carrying this dream. We had gotten to the cemetery. The dream was about to be buried. He was already dead. Dead. I couldn't even hear or see anything. I was lost in my own thoughts. I knew that immediately they buried the dream. They had buried me too. But then they said, the man is around. The man is around. Which man? All the men in my life. Dead. <laughs> so which man? I didn't even look up. I was looking down. In my black regalia, 
looking very ugly. But I felt something I'd never felt before. His eyes were looking right into my soul. I was distracted. Why are you looking at me? I'm ugly. He didn't even say so much of a word. I'd been used to pity. So I thought it was another kind of pity. But it was a different type. It, there was power in the compassion that he felt towards me. And then he told the men carrying my dream to stop. And then he put his hands on the coffin where my dead dream, where it laid. <laughs> and it was like a dream. <laughs> he came back to life. What? Yes, that's how shocking it was. If my son didn't talk to me, I would have said it was a, it was a lie. And he went his way. I was excited. As you can tell, I was joyful. But he didn't stop there. <laughs> uh, he proposed on a very public place. <laughs> He's now my lover, the one that rose my dead dream. Married me. Mm -hmm. He married me. He paid the price, my bride price, as a widow. He married me. He chose <laughs> me. He chose me. Unbelievable. It had never been heard before. They told him now. Ah, she's a black widow. Her son died though. Her husband died though. He said, yes, I want her. He chose me. And guess what? <laughs> Marrying me would have been pity. But giving me all his power. All. So now, when I'm walking around the city. And I see a dead child. Me. Talitha. Kumi. And the child would rise back to life. Me. So I'm not just the wife of the razor. <laughs> I'm not just the wife of the resurrection. I am the resurrection. <laughs> I've been included in his power as well. He didn't give me some of his power. He gave me all. According to the measure of power that he has. My husband. He beautified me and now I no longer have one dream. He's alive. He's doing well. My son is grown. You know what's more powerful than having a dream? It's having a dream that was dead, that everybody saw was dead. <laughs> and then that dream comes back to life. I'm not just the widow of me, I'm not the woman.